Hey, would you like to take a 50% pay cut to become a teacher? Um, only hell yeah on today's Think Share. Hello humans, welcome to the Think Share. My name is Zach, I'm here to bring to what I'm thinking about, sharing about, talking about, listen to, reading about the doesn't belong in math class. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. Today I wanted to share a little bit of how I went from being a software developer to become a teacher and taking a 50% pay cut. So this all started back in 2013 when I took the Landmark Forum. I was an engineer doing 40 hour weeks. I was taking software that already existed and I was trying to fix it. I had to learn a language on my own. I was hired mostly because they knew I knew how to learn because I was an engineering major, not because I knew the code. It was the day that I realized that I wasn't enjoying myself 40 hours a week. And there was actually another option out there that I could be enjoying myself 40 hours a week. I would often strangely find myself sitting in some of our meetings daydreaming about how could I use furniture in a classroom to teach algebra? I feel like this would be a great model to teach slope intercept form. And so after a long time having all these daydreams, thinking about how I loved working with students, loved working with teenagers and young people that are interested in learning, I realized that I really wanted to be a teacher. And it was the day I took the advanced course from the Landmark Form Curriculum for Living that I was asked this question. Take whatever it is that you want in life, where you've been holding yourself back, and state it as, I want X, but Y. And so for me, that was, I want to be a teacher, but it doesn't pay enough. And then they said, we want you to change the but to an and. So I said, I want to be a teacher and it doesn't pay enough. And it no longer made sense. So I realized I didn't actually know how much teachers made. I'd always been taught from my parents, from family and, and society and teachers and just really everyone, they said, you know, teachers don't get paid enough. I didn't know how much that was. I didn't know what the number was. So I started looking it up and realized that it was quite livable. In fact, five years into teaching now, I'm pretty close to back where I was as an engineer. Now, if I had stayed with engineering, I would be making a bit more, but there's really no shame of felt in taking a bit of a pay cut to become a teacher. So it was realizing that one, it's a reasonable income for what you're doing. You do have a lot of extra time that maybe engineers don't. So you have two, you have about eight or nine weeks during summer. You have April, February and winter break, uh, which you don't have as a software developer. And if you needed to, you could pick up another job to support yourself and make up the money that teachers don't get paid enough. So that was one of the big things holding me back was money. And I realized it wasn't as much of a problem as I thought it was gonna be. The other thing was I realized if there's 168 hours in a week and I'm spending a quarter of those or about 40 of them semi-miserable, is that really what I wanna be doing? Do I wanna spend, if, if a third of my life is sleeping, and a quarter of it I spend semi-miserable. That means I have five twelfths or about half of the rest of my life is eating, hanging out with people, doing all the other stuff. So do I wanna spend a quarter of my life making money so that I can enjoy the other half of my life? Not really, what if I could just enjoy all 75% of that that's not sleeping or 66% of it that's not sleeping. When I realized that and came to the conclusion that I was not willing to use 40 hours of my week every week to do something that I didn't really enjoy, that was the moment when I realized that that time being spent towards something that I love and was eating away at my soul, it was more valuable than money for me to be using that time for something that I really love. Now, teaching is not a cakewalk by any means. You have to be sort of, I don't know, maybe a certain personality for it. You gotta really enjoy working with other people and having them work through problems. And you're a lot more than just a math teacher. I think I take it upon myself to be even more than just a math teacher by teaching life lessons on YouTube as well as um, spending a lot of extra time talking with students about their goals and things that they care about and coaching and sports. But even if you're just a teacher and you don't spend any more time as an advisor or a coach being a teacher, you still gotta really enjoy being with that age group. You still gotta really enjoy talking about maybe one of the subject materials that you're gonna be teaching about. So teaching is definitely not for everybody, but if you're really good at your content, whether it be math or science or chemistry or whatever, or English or history, and you enjoy working with younger people, and your only holdup is that it doesn't pay enough, I really want you to ask, what are those 40 hours a week worth to you in money? 
if those are not worth enough that you can take a pay cut, then maybe you're right. Maybe you need to stay with that lifestyle. But I think what most people will discover is that that is a fine payoff, that they're very much okay with that. Let me know in the comments what career choices you're trying to make and if this helps. If you like this and you want more, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications if you want daily updates, want to come up with something new. Thanks for watching. Stay weird, humans. Yeah.